Three feet. Is this supposed to be six? Perfect. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of How to Do Camp Things with me, Daniel, and Andrew. Andrew. All right. Well, we learned some good lessons last week on uh, how to build a one-match campfire. Hope you guys caught that episode. And uh, Andrew, uh, uh, in review, we, we, we learned a lot last week about how to do a one-match campfire. Yeah. Uh, a lot of concern uh, received through the last week, but it's okay. Um, nothing burned down other than campfires, so yeah. it's all good. All right, all right. Well, this week for this week's episode, we're going to be. Uh, we it's it's Monday, uh, April sixth today. Uh, it is not the nicest day outside. Uh, there's a little rain coming through from time to time. So rather than being out at the climbing wall, uh, we're going to be here inside. We're going to be showing you guys how to tie the knots that we use at the climbing wall, and that one is right here. This is called a double bowie on a bite. Okay, so we're going to teach you guys how to tie one of these knots. Uh, so, Andrew, that doesn't look too hard, does it? No. Nope. All right. It looks well, pretty easy. All right. Well, let's go through it, and uh, let's see how it goes. All right. All right. So, the first thing we want to do is make our backup knot. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take the uh, we're put, take our index finger. We're going to put it on the part that has all the slack. Okay. So, we're going to do that right there. And this other one comes around twice. You know, make sure you have plenty of slack here. It's going to go around twice that finger, so once, twice, and the back second time it goes behind it, and then comes through like this, and we make a nice little backup knot just like that. And one of the keys to a good backup knot is that we don't want too much slack left. We don't want like several inches of slack because that could hurt somebody or smack somebody in the face. So we don't want that. All right, so now we got our nice loop here. All right, and then we're going to make sure these run parallel. These two uh, ropes, uh, lines of rope run parallel to each other. Then we're going to make a nice little loop like that. And we're going to take this loop right here, and we're going to stick it through uh, right there. All right. Now this is where my instructions get a little weird. But what you want to do when you get to this point is, let's pretend this is a tongue, and this is the jaw. And when you stick your tongue out, it hangs over the jaw. What you need to do here is you're going to pierce the tongue, and you're going to grab the tonsils. From there, you're going to pull your lip over your head, and then you can pull that knot through. And it needs to sit above the back of the knot. And then when we get that done, you want know, to make sure that the knot sits nice and parallel. Really, the whole way through right, right here. So that is a double bowie on a bite. Andrew, how's this? Nope. How's this look? Nope. Is this it? No. Is this no? It? Ready, set, go. Is this it? He did it! Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of How to Do Camp Things with Andrew. Uh, hey, great job on making the knots, all right. Uh, so next week, uh, we're gonna go and do? Uh, we're probably gonna go to the pond. Oh, we gotta do some canoeing, yeah. And we gotta uh, know how to canoe, so yeah. Yeah, can I go without a life jacket? No. Uh, how about throw my paddle like a javelin? No. Can I flip our canoe? No. Do you want to race? Maybe. Yes. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. See ya.